Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum friends. The assignment is about ACU 302 and uh, semester fall 2019. The due date is 27th November 2019. Uh, let's see. There are two cases in this assignment. Case one, the you know, price elasticity of demand with the help of arc elasticity method, and to determine the price elasticity, the price elasticity of demand, whether it is elastic or inelastic. Case two, the relationship of two goods uh, and their impact on each other. Impact on each other mean impact on their demands. If there is a hike in the price, or what about the demand? Is it going up or down? Let's see the next slide. Uh, find the price elasticity of demand. EP mean price elasticity of demand with the help of arc method. This is the question and assignment. My dear friends, there are five methods. Uh, they have been written in front of you. Uh, number one is total expenditure method. Second, proportionate method, arc method, point method, and the last one is revenue method. I'm not going to explain all of them because uh, we are not supposed to do that. I'll only focus on number third, which I have highlighted. And uh, according to the question, we are supposed to do to solve the assignment in this one. So let's see. Part one: Calculate price elasticity of demand for the tomatoes when price is between 200 and 300 by using our elasticity method. Uh, P1 and P2. P1 the original price. P2 mean when the price went up to 300. So what happened to a demand? Q mean demand, quantity demanded. Q1 mean the original quantity of demanded, it was 800. But when when the price uh, went up to 300, the demand for the tomatoes uh, mean the, came down uh, to 750, uh, 750 kilogram. The formula uh, is there in front of you, arc elasticity equal to Q2 minus Q1. As I have told you already, Q2 means the changed uh, quantity demanded minus the original de uh, demand, that is Q1, divided by Q2 plus Q1. The whole divided by P2 minus P1. P2 means uh, when the price went up, that's the new price, that is P2 minus P1, the original price, divided by P2 plus P1. Let's see the calculation in the next slide. Uh, price elasticity of demand equal to 750 and uh, minus 800 divided by 750 plus 800 multiplied by 300 plus 200 divided by 300 minus 200. Uh, kindly, mm, you are supposed to go back and compare these figures with your assignments or open your uh, assignment page and compare the figures there. Uh, it should there be there. I don't want only you should copy and paste uh, also and the purpose of this uh, solution is the student should inculcate these things also so when I calculated this I got 0 0.2 price elasticity, uh, price elasticity of demand is equal to 0 0.2 and that is less than 1 you can see here the last uh, hmm, term here in this uh, slide Price elasticity, uh, price elasticity of demand is less than one. Let's see in the next slide we will determine the, whether it is whether it is elastic or inelastic. Let's see. Part B: The price elasticity of demand for tomato is inelastic because it is less than one. And as you know, if the price elas uh, the the uh, demand will be elastic when uh, the percentage change in the price is equal to the percentage change in the demand or it's greater than that so it will be elastic and if the percentage change in the price is more than the percentage change in demand that will be inelastic let's see the next slide that is case 2 a table has been given I have taken this from uh, your assignment uh, the title of the table tells us about the goods the right side tells us about the cross price elasticity of demand cross price elasticity and demand uh, it explains about the two goods uh, if there is hike in the price of the one good uh, does there any impact on or does it um, throw any impact on the um, use of the another product or the demand of another product so let's see the first example is there for you coke and pepsi if the price of the coke goes up 
what will happen to the demand of the Pepsi? See the right side, plus 0.68. It means the uh, demand for the Pepsi went up also. Why? If the price of the Coke goes up, the people will switch and try to uh, consume Pepsi, They'd rather uh, to buy a, a expensive thing. The second example, butter and margarine. Difference in the other uh, in the above example, we are not supposed to find whether the elasticity is there or our uh, inelasticity is there, or we are supposed to find the question. Ask us the assignment demand from us that find which type of relationship is there. So the Coke and Pepsi they are substitute goods. The second one, butter and margarine, they are also substitute goods. Why? If the price of the butter goes up, there will be a demand. Uh, also, uh, mean increase in demand for margarine. Look at the figure at the right. A positive one my, uh, dot to three. Example three: car and petrol. Uh, if the price of the car goes up, what will happen to the petrol? The petrol, uh, the demand of the petrol will come down. Why? Because the people will buy less cars, so we don't want to uh, buy petrol for nothing just we use petrol for our cars not to drink therefore you can see the figure at the right uh, this is negative uh, 0.28 so they are complementary goods uh, uh, complementary goods if the price the, the price of uh, the, fir the first commodity uh, goes up and uh, demand for the second commodity or the good is uh, mean comes down so they are called complementary goods. Same is the example of printer and ink. And similarly, McDonald and burger, McDonald burgers and KFC burger. So this example is exactly a replica of the uh, Coke and uh, Pepsi and butter and margarine. Thank you very much. And inshallah, see you in the next assignment. Have a good day.